What's up guys, it's Project back with another build video, this time for Charge Blade. You guys know what to expect, it's going to be the same format as my longsword video, you get 3 builds with relatively easy to get charms, so you can put the builds together super fast, super easy, and drop some bombs. Now if you're new to Charge Blade or want to know the best combos, well, I made a combo guide that covers all you need to know about Charge Blade, so go check that out, even if you're not interested in checking it out. Click the video, please. I need the views. <laughs> so with the groveling out of the way, build all, start all. Because I'm a little charmlet, two of the builds just need slots for the charms, no skills necessary. But one build will require a certain combination of level two skills with slots, so I'll cover that one first and, oh baby, it's a doozy. Enter, big CPP, Rajang CP. Ah yes, the Meta Rajang Solo Charge Blade build. You want explosion after explosion after explosion? Well, this is the build for you. This build goes all in on UED. You counter with CPP to build files and then unleash a UED and then repeat that until monster dead. Or when you have files, you can counter with advanced morphing slash guard point for a 25% bonus damage to your file damage on the following UED. You can gain this bonus damage with sword to axe or axe to sword GPs, guard points. And unlike the common speedrun videos, I also sneak in offensive guard thanks to my charm. Offensive guard even procs from CPP if you perfect guard point. So there's no need for guard skills as you can just proc the attack buff from CPP, which at level two is a 10% attack increase. So yeah, I don't think morphing slash is necessary on CPP CB, or hell, for Charge Blade in general, the benefits are much less than on, say, Switch Axe, so I scrapped that for more damage. For the weapon, you want Rajang with the Doling Strike Rampage skill. Doling Strike is kinda booty, but at least sometimes it'll increase your file damage. Rajang has the highest raw in the game currently, and impact files scale with raw. The build gets max attack, thunder attack level 4, Max Bludgeoner, since Rajang only has green sharpness, so this effectively gets in a multiplier similar to blue sharpness, while also increasing file damage, unlike sharpness levels. I also get max artillery for even more file damage, offensive guard level 2, which I explained earlier, low shells level 2, which gives you full files even if you reload your files in yellow gauge, practically mandatory for every charge they build, I think. Level 1 flinch free, which you can toss if you only play solo, which this build kind of needs. So you can put in the thunder attack for max thunder attack. And last but not least, level 1 diversion. Which is another thing I've seen missing from speedruns, which is weird. Diversion means the monster will attack you more often, which means you can CPP more often. So I think this is a must have for a lot of counter builds, including Longsword from my previous build video. And it's only one slot, so yeah, that's the build. For charm, I use a level 2 bludgeoner with two one slotted charm. Bludgeoner can be exchanged for either level 2 load shells or level 2 attack, as you can swap the corresponding decos out for bludgeoner decos if you have those skills instead on the charm. If you can get a 2 1 1 slot as well, that means you can max thunder attack on top. But yeah, any of those three skills at level 2 with a level 2 slot charm will do. And that is the meta Rajang build. No speed sharpening, cause Rajang has a ton of green, but if you do need to sharpen fast or want to sharpen fast, just have some wet fish pluses in your inventory, as they'll act as speed sharpening. For skills, you want this setup here. Pretty much the default one outside of Counter Morph Slash. Moving on to build 2, jumping to a completely different style, here's my pizza time charge blade build. This is for those wanting a Savage Axe style for spin to win. And unlike Rajang CB, which does have some problems against certain monsters, this one does not. So this one is very potent against smaller monsters where their hitboxes aren't as long for files to do damage. 
Even against something like Diablos, which is huge, right? This is preferred as it has rushing attacks where even if you CPP, you won't be able to land the full UED. But you know what can also come out of CPP? Savage Axe. So after you CPP, you Savage Axe by holding X. Even if you don't have the Axe mode buffed and boom, you can counter often even with the Axe mode out and shred. So very fun playstyle. Weapon choice is Narga because it's easy to build, it comes with a level 2 slot, and it's still out DPS's most, if not all, of the other options for this style. For the Rampage skill, you're going to want Attack, and for skills, you get Attack level 6, Wex level 3, Speed Sharpening level 3 so you can get back to White fast if need be, Rapid Morph level 2 because this time you want to morph to Axe often, and this speeds up that animation. You get Latent Power level 2, so that's 100% critical 2 minutes into the fight against weak spots, you get crit boost level 2 for more damage, low shells level 2 for fast files, and a flinch free. Because this build, you're going to want to bring in multiplayer as well. For charm, it is a generic 3 2 1 slot charm. If you can get attack or crit boost level 1 with those same slots, you're golden. But essentially, for charm upgrades, just work towards maxing attack and crit boost. And yeah, that is build 2 with the necessary skills here. And finally, the last build, Stylonin again, is Grasshopper Charge Blade. This one plays around Axe Hopper using a similar setup to build 2, except also building for file damage. This build is more ideal than Rajang in multiplayer as Axe Hopper has better range and direction change. Because the Axe Hopper Axe Hit itself deals a lot of damage, the Narga is the most ideal for crits where you can get like over 600 damage on the first swing down. You will lack CPP because you have to use Axe Hopper, so you need to be more active in building files, but with low shells level 2, you won't have too much trouble. Though, I did consider making an Evade Extender build for this so you can cover even more ground faster, but you do lose a lot of damage options with a generic 2-2 slot charm I have, so for now, this is the build, considering the trash charm. But I get Max Attack, Max Wex, Rap Morph 2, Artillery Level 2, Speed Sharpening Level 2, Low Shells Level 2, Latent Power Level 1, and Flinch Free. You can also use the same 3 2 1 slot charm for this build as well. But yeah, lots of level 2 skills. So for skills on the charm, upgrades will be for Max Artillery, Max Speed Sharpening, and Crit Boost Level 1 or 2. I went for Max Attack instead of Attack Level 4 or plus Crit Boost Level 2 because I wanted to scale file damage still, which Crit Boost does not. And yeah, lastly, here are the skills for Cricket CB. And the decos needed are all there in the little box thingy, just FYI. And yeah, those are the builds that I think are pretty good for Charge Blade. Hope you guys enjoy the variety of builds offered today, all of which are meta despite being all different, and can all get good clear times with the Savage Axe style getting a sub 5 Narwa recently, so become a Charge Blade Chad today. Again, if you missed the Charge Blade combo video guide, go check that out, and if you enjoy this video, give it a like, it helps me out. For the ending question, what is your favorite Charge Blade design in Rise? Mine's the fishy. It opens up in axe mode like you fillet the fish, it's freaking sick. So comment down below what your favorite Charge Blade is, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Rise epicness.